muscles and the vessels of the arm. The arm is divided by two intermuscular septa, medial and lateral, into anterior compartment and posterior compartment. The muscles of the anterior compartment is formed by three muscles, biceps, coracobrachialis, and the brachialis muscle. All these muscles are supplied by musculocutaneous nerve, but the muscles of the posterior compartment is formed by triceps and supplied by the radial nerve. This is the anterior compartment formed by three muscles, biceps, coracobrachialis, and the deep to the biceps there is brachialis muscle. The posterior compartment from posterior formed by triceps muscle. The first muscle, which is biceps, takes the origin by two heads, long head from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. It lies inside the shoulder joint, that is to say, intracapsular in origin. Short head of the biceps from the tip of coracoid process in combination with the coracobrachialis muscle. Insertion of the biceps by strong tendon into the posterior part of the radial theobrosty. The second or accessory insertion through the bicipital aponeurosis, which arises from the medial side of the biceps tendon into the deep fascia of the forearm. The bicipital aponeurosis separates the median cubital vein from the brachial artery. The nerve supply for the biceps comes from the musculocutaneous nerve. Action of the biceps, it is a powerful supinator to the forearm and flexes the elbow joint. The long head keeps the head of the humerus in the glenoid cavity during the movements of the shoulder joint. Short head of the biceps help in flexion of the shoulder joint. This is the biceps, long head arises inside the capsule of the shoulder, intracapsular. This is the short head arises from tip of coracoid process in common origin with coracobrachialis muscle. And the insertion, this is the tendon of the biceps in the radial tuberosity. The second insertion by bicipital apneurosis to the deep fascia of the forearm. Brachialis muscle takes the origin from the front of the lower half of the shaft of the humerus, insertion into the ulnar tuberus. The nerve supply again from the musculocutaneous nerve and the additional supply from the radial nerve to the lateral part. Action, flexion of the elbow joint. Then, coracobrachialis muscle takes the origin from the tip of coracoid process in common origin with the short head of the biceps, insertion of coracobrachialis into the middle part of the medial margin of the humerus. The nerve supply from the musculocutaneous nerve, action, flexes, and adducts the arm. This is after cutting the biceps muscle, this is the brachialis muscle. This is the coracobrachialis from the tip of coracoid process and common origin with short head of the biceps inserted into the middle of the medial board of the humerus. The triceps muscle takes origin by three heads. Long head arises from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Lateral head arises from the back of the humerus above the spiral groove. The medial head arises from the back of the humerus below the spiral groove. Insertion into the posterior part of the upper surface of the olecranon process of the ulna. Nerve supply from the radial nerve. Action, it is powerful extensor of the elbow joint, but it is long head helps in extension and the adduction of the shoulder joint. This is the triceps. Long head of the triceps, this is the lateral head above the spiral groove, and this is the medial head from back of the humerus below the spiral groove. 
Brachial artery begins at the lower border of the teres major muscle as continuation of the axillary artery and ends at the level of the neck of the radius by dividing into two terminates, radial and ulnar arteries. The relations of the brachial artery upper half of the brachial lies on the medial side of the humerus, with the median nerve is lateral and the ulnar nerve is medial. The lower half of the brachial passes in front of the humerus but separated from the humerus by brachialis muscle. The median nerve and the basilic veins become the medial to the artery. At the elbow, the bicipital aponeurosis crosses superficial to the brachial artery, separating the brachial artery from the median cubital vein, which lies more superficial. The median nerve crosses superficial to the artery from lateral to medial at the level of insertion of coracobrachialis muscle. This is the brachial artery, which is the continuation of the axillary artery, it starts at the lower border of the teres major muscle. Branches of the brachial artery, number one, profunda brachii artery, runs with the radial nerve in the spinal groove in the posterior surface of the humerus. Then the branches of the profunda, number one, ascending branch passes upward between the long and the lateral heads of the triceps. The profunda divides into two terminal branches, anterior and posterior, which take part in the anastomosis around the elbow joint. The second branch from the brachial artery is superior ulnar collateral, which runs with the ulnar nerve to the back of the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Inferior ulnar collateral divides into anterior and posterior branches in the front and the back of the medial epicondyle. Then nutrient artery, which passes in the nutrient foramen of the humerus. Muscular branches to the muscles of the arm. This is axillary artery at the lower border of the teres major continuous as brachial artery. The brachial artery here in cubital fossa divided into two terminals, radial and ulnar arteries. The brachial artery gives many branches. Profunda brachii, which descend down posterior to the humerus in the spiral groove with the radial nerve, then superior ulnar collateral branch, and this is the inferior ulnar collateral in addition to the nutrient artery entering the nutrient foramen of the humerus.